Hey everyone, Steve here with Muse Themes. Here's a cool little widget called Scaling Text. Now this is an interesting widget release for us because often our widgets are driven by pure functionality and adding new features to Muse. And don't get me wrong, this widget certainly does that. However, this one's really more about adding design finesse and polish to your site. Now this widget was conceived by our designer Christopher and it's something that he wanted to see in Muse for a long time. So we went ahead and built the widget. And what Scaling Text does is it perfectly scales down text relative to the viewport size of the browser. So notice the headline that says pixel perfect typography. If I scale the browser down, that text size is actually being reduced at a amount that is proportionate to the actual viewport of the browser or the size of the browser. And this headline down here that says make an impact, as I scale down, see it just fluidly responds. Now in Muse, this isn't possible. What you usually get is text just simply collapsing into a smaller box, and then when you hit a breakpoint, it changes to a completely different size. So scaling text fluidly reduces or changes the size of a text element according to the viewport size. So how does this widget work? It's actually kind of interesting and kind of tough to wrap your head around at first, but once you get it, you'll find that it's no problem. So let me take a blank canvas here, and in my library panel, I have my scaling text widget. So let's just drag that out on the canvas. And this is a widget that applies itself to an element, so it doesn't really need to be on the canvas. We could actually move it off to the side. So the first thing we'll do is let's create a headline on the site. So let me draw a text box. Let's just go headline one, like that. And I'm going to scale this text up to be, let's say, 60. I'll center it and let's pick a better font. Um, let's just do something like, yeah, that's no good. How about that? Perfect. Let me bring the text size up a little more. Okay, so now that we have a text box on the page, I am going to give it a paragraph style. So let's create a paragraph style and I'm gonna call this scale, just like that. Let me do it in lowercase, scale. Okay. Now that I've applied that, we need to enter that into the widget. So over here in the widget, let's bring out the flyout panel. The paragraph style we're going to target here is called scale. Perfect. Okay, now that we've entered in the paragraph style, let's go ahead and look through each of these breakpoint options. Now, just because it says mobile breakpoint tablet doesn't mean that you really need to use them for mobile or tablet. They just give you options for different ranges of breakpoints. So to quickly set this up, let's look at the font size. Now this is a unit you've probably never seen before. It's viewport width. So what this means is it's going to calculate a character, just one character as a percentage of the entire browser width. So right now each character is going to occupy 6% of the total browser width. So I'm going to leave that by default as is. Then we have line height and bottom margin options as percentages. This just means that you'll get a consistent line height as the text scales down. If you had a big block of text and you had a fixed line height in a pixel value, for example, it would be too tight as the text got bigger and maybe a little bit too spacious as it got smaller. So this allows you to just kind of convert that to percentages. So our breakpoint minimum, we're going to leave at zero. And our breakpoint max, let's just set this at something like 5,000. So what this means is that our text is just going to scale up and down infinitely. So let me preview that in the browser. So there's our headline. You'll notice that as I scale the browser down, it proportionately gets smaller. As I scale it back up, it will get bigger. Now, this is set to be within a range of 0 to 5,000 pixels. But let's say when it gets to about this size, we want it to occupy more than that 6%. We want it to be bigger. So let's say this is about a 400 pixel wide breakpoint. So let me change this again. And let's go 0 to, uh, let's go 499, for example. And at that breakpoint range, I'm going to have this actually be 10%. And on this next one, let's go... 499 or sorry 500 to 2500 so now we have two sections and this is going to take up six percent so let's preview that again so as i scale up this is taking up that six percent once we get down to that smaller breakpoint range now you can see it jump there and it's taking up the 10 percent so you have a lot of control in this widget for what breakpoint or viewport size you want to be scaling your text on and you don't need to use all of these options, but you can see how just adding different ranges and different font sizes lets you control that scaling property. So this is really something brand new in Muse that gives you a ton of control and finesse in your site and in the responsive behavior of text. Now, one thing I do want to point out is if you opened up an existing template, let's take the build template, for example, and I'll drag the widget out on the page. And we want this headline here 
building confidence to be a scaling text headline. Well, what we could do, of course, is let's see what the paragraph style for this is. It says H1 headline white. Now, the problem with the way this is named is it has spaces in it, and you cannot have spaces in the scaling text widget. So what we would need to do is just revise the name of this, and we could use dashes, for example. Let's just make it tidy like that, and I'm going to copy it and click OK. And I'll apply it here. Okay, perfect. And let's just set up one breakpoint. Let's go 0 to 5,000, for example. And our font size is going to be 6%. That's okay. Let's check out how it looks. There, so there's my headline. And as I scale the browser down, you can see it's proportionately scaling. So now if I didn't want it to wrap at this size up here, perhaps what I'd do is I'd add a breakpoint range at this looks like about maybe 1,000 pixels and above. And we might pick a smaller size for that font. Now, one thing I have to stress with this is just because it has different breakpoint ranges in it, it doesn't mean it has to relate necessarily to your breakpoints on your Muse Canvas. This just gives you precise control over where you want that text headline to change, but it doesn't really need to relate to the breakpoints you set up in your file. So you can see what I mean. It's kind of an interesting widget to wrap your head around, but once you get the hang of it, it's really powerful, and I think it adds a lot of polish to your site. Thanks again for watching, and good luck with the scaling text widget.